The largest ever longevity study of omega-3 fish oils was just published, and it's an incredible study. It's a great study. Many times I look at these clinical studies, and they're either just on animals, or the dosage isn't right, or the duration isn't right, or they don't test a number of other things along with the ingredient. So with and without maybe another ingredient that can have synergistic effects. So this study was published by the University of Basel in Switzerland, quite a credible university. It was called Do Health. And I want to look at a few things with this study. The size of the study, the dosages of the study, the duration of the study, and what was measured. Was it just one biomarker or multiple things? And what, of course, were the results of the study? In this case, there were 777 people in the trial. They were of ages 70 to 85. Now, in that age group, you're going to see some things coming up, so you have a lot to test. And if you get less chronic disease or less inflammation, inflammation in that group, it's pretty telling. It's pretty interesting. My own mother, by the way, takes omega-3, and she's over this age group. She also takes the one that I take from Do Not Age, and fish oils, especially the smaller fatty fish, is a great source of omega-3. Now, we have omega-3 in our bodies. In fact, it's structurally a very important part of the makeup of our cells, and especially brain cells. In fact, when we're newborns and very young, we have a lot more omega-3, and it's crucial crucial for the development of our brains. But as we age, we have less and less. So the purpose of this study was to determine if we increase those omega-3 levels back to youthful levels, the thinking is maybe we can protect the brain. If you're interested in this supplement, it's in the description along with the other things I take, and you can get a 10% discount if you use my code PULSE. Now, the dosage they were given was one gram of omega-3, in this case, fish oil. But some of the participants were also given vitamin D. So we're able to see if vitamin D would synergize and give you even better results. There was a great study also coming out of Canada last year that was conducted for preventing dementia, and it was a 10-year study. So I tend to really like these longer studies. Also, some of these participants exercised at home as well multiple times a week. And I've often said, well, if you want to maximize the results of supplements, you should be exercising. So they covered that base as well. Like I said, they really checked all the boxes with this study. The duration was three years for this study. Uh, a lot of studies are six months to a year. So a three-year study is really going to tell you a lot more. What I've found is the effects of supplementing happen more and more as you go on. Each year, I felt better that I've been taking supplements. So doing a study for six months is just giving you a partial result in my view. So what was studied here? Biological age. Now, if that was the only result, then I would also maybe call that into question because not all biological age tests give you the same result. But in this case, that was one of the markers that they tested. Also cancer risk, frailty risk, and safety. Now, omega-3 has a great safety record, but because this study is three years, it really reinforces the other safety measurements that were done on omega-3. Now, I want to break down some of the results for you, but first I want to talk about what is omega-3. The supplements I take are ingredients ingredients that either exist in our food supply or are in our bodies already, but they diminish as we age. So the thought process is take these healthy ingredients, boost these levels back up to youthful levels, and maybe we'll fare well. Maybe we'll feel better. Maybe the measurements will be good for us and we'll be more youthful by taking these ingredients. So omega-3 fits that model. Now you might hear omega-3 referred to any of the following as a fatty acid, a healthy fat, or a polyunsaturated fat. Omega-3s need to exist in balance with omega-6. You can get omega-3 from fish oils, flaxseed, walnuts. You can get omega-6s from things like poultry, eggs, and other nuts. So you should be getting both to get optimal results from taking an omega-3 supplement. There are tests that you could do. Do Not Age happens to also have an omega-3 test, but you can get it tested elsewhere as well. So in the biological age test, 
the age of the participants taking omega-3 was reversed by three to four months. That's actually great for a biological test because what I found is these things tend to lag behind anecdotally how we're feeling when we take something. Somebody can say, I feel 10 years younger, but maybe a biological test would only show them to be one to two years younger. So in my view, how you feel is paramount, is great, because really we're not going to live years and years longer or decades longer by living healthy but we can live a whole lot better. Even still, when you can reverse a biological age test, that's pretty cool. Cancer risk was reduced by 61%. Now keep in mind, all of these scores were enhanced by those that took vitamin D and exercised as well. So you get a multiplier. As I've often said, if you test one thing, it's not going to give you an entire story of how someone would do if they took something or did something that synergized with that one thing. And in this case, the results were even better when they also took a proven supplement like vitamin D and also exercised. But even omega-3 alone reduced their biological age and reduced their cancer risk. Also, frailty scores went up. There was a 39% reduction in frailty, also improved more when you took vitamin D and exercise. All these scores improved when you also did these other things. And they confirmed that omega-3 is safe to take, and in this case, not six months, but for three years. So if you're taking omega-3, this reinforces your belief in this supplement. Certainly a great study like this and checks all the boxes that I would look for in a study. Things I've looked at studies before and said, you know, that dosage is low or that duration is short or they measured only 15 people. Some studies are coming out that measured literally just 15 people. This is well over 700, almost 800 people involved in this study that went on from a reputable university for for years. If you're not taking omega-3 and you're an aging adult, say 50 plus, I mean, you really should stop. Take a good look at this. I'll link to the information in the study, but you should take a good look at this and consider it because omega-3 is probably the most studied supplement out there. It's very close to other things like creatine, which I'll talk about in an upcoming video. And there's really not a lot that can go wrong by taking omega-3. From time to time, someone will mention, well, it has this side effect or that side effect. You might want to talk to your doctor, let them know you're taking omega-3 fish oils. But at least on the report of this study, there were no side effects listed. And every time I dig into side effects, I don't see any substantial side effects from omega-3 oils. So as always, I appreciate you watching and do subscribe because I'm going to be showing more content like this and I hope you'll stick with me. Thanks for watching.